and have sickle cell because the first thing it does, it attacks the spleen. And if you have sickle cell, you've got to keep your spleen healthy so that it can continuously take those distorted blood cells out the circulation so that you can function. If you eat sugar, the spleen becomes non-functional. All these abnormal cells then now get stuck in the joints, and that's when you start having pain and stiffness. And the bilirubin, which is a baked down product of the blood, now backs up into the blood, overloads the liver. You get jaundice in the whole ugly scenario. So the key is, is that sugar is a no-no for these individuals. They cannot have Hostess Twinkies. They cannot have cupcakes. They cannot have juice. They cannot have pop. They cannot have white bread. They cannot eat any of that. And if they were in Africa, none of that would exist, right? So that's why everybody's walking around with sickle cell and nobody knew they had it. Because they did not eat a diet that challenged the blood to challenge the spleen so that it became a problem. So this is one of the worst things that parents can do that have children with sickle cell is to give them juice, pop, dairy products, sugar, and white flour foods. And if you stay away from that, I guarantee you, you won't know that you have sickle cell or sickle cell trait. Okay? Thank you. Is that it? Okay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, if you're interested, we have a few tapes out in the back, not only on melanin in addition uh, and in our book, Vitamins and Minerals from A to Z, but I think there's some other things out there. Uh, and uh, I'll be more than glad to sign your tapes or your books for you. So I'll meet you at the back table. Oh, yes. One more thing, please, before you leave. You who, hello, don't leave. This is important. Um, if you've heard me say this before, as above, so below. Everything that's outside of you is also inside of you. Now I will say this again. As above, so below, and everything that is outside of you is also inside of you. What is happening here is that there's so much information, so much misinformation that many people are now very confused about what should they do. They don't know how to eat. They don't know what vitamins to take. They don't know what they should do. They don't know if they have a purpose or not. They don't know if the, somebody's telling them the truth. They don't know if the TV's lying. They don't know if the book is right. I mean, it's really, this is judgment day. There's so much information out there. How are you gonna know what's correct? Well, again, everybody is created completely capable of mastering any experience that they create for themselves because we are all manifestations of the creator. So any question that you have or the need to authenticate any particular information can come from within. Now, if there's people outside of you, there are people inside of you. If there are people outside of you, there are people inside of you. The individuals that come here inside of you are here to give you the real deal about you. And they are called guides, G-U-I-D-E-S. The commitment is, is that if they're able to give you the information on what's really happening, it also helps them to evolve in their own inner plane growth and development, just like you get the deal to evolve out here. Now, the agreement is, however, is that nothing can be forced upon you because you are a developing god or goddess. So they can't get busy in there talking to you without your permission. So that means that they have to sit there and see you eat things that don't, you don't have no business, do things you don't have no business, get involved in stuff you don't have any business, and they have to go along with the consequences. That's the agreement. Unless you start asking yourself for help. Now when you start asking yourself for help, then that's when you give them permission to start downloading a whole bunch of information about you that you probably forgot about or you didn't know. Now there are direct techniques to teach you how to access these internal resources. And it's known as an inner guide meditation. These have been done for thousands and thousands of years and normally under quote, spiritual conditions. Because this is part of what you need to be able to build a spiritual body. Now my definition of a spiritual body is the capacity for you to be able to think to do and to feel the same way. I'll say that again. For you to be a spiritual person, you must be able to feel and think and do what you feel and think. 
If you cannot do what you feel and think, you are not a spiritual person, and you cannot build a spiritual body. I don't care how many times you read the Bible. It has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with how many times you go to church. It's can you do what you truly think and feel. And most people cannot. And so therefore, you got to get some help to know how to be okay and do what you think and feel. And the intelligence that's on the inside of you can give you the inroads on how to be able to do that so that you can build this thing known as a spiritual body. What is a spiritual body? A spiritual body is a funnel. It is actually a collection of energy that allows you to siphon off directly the energy from your soul into your mental, emotional, and physical body. That's what it is. Most people cannot draw off the soul quality energy because they don't have a connection from the soul quality to the mental, the emotional, and physical. The building of a spiritual body allows you to do that. So therefore, the people who have that spiritual body are the ones that when they snap their fingers, whatever they think and want appears. That they can walk around here and do all kinds of things because they are now God on this planet in consciousness. And there's no book that can teach you how to do that because you got to live it to get the energy. And that's what it seems like most of these books are forgetting to tell you. Because you can't sit somewhere and read all this stuff and know the Bible and then not speak to the person next to you. Or get on the telephone and get to gossiping. Or get here and eat these animals that you know are filthy. You who are not spiritual when you do that, I don't care how many books you know. And how many times you sit up in the pew on Sunday or Saturday or wherever you go. So the key is for you to be able to break this inconsistency, you got to get in communication with the people that are on the inside. And there's a meditation to do that. On Sunday, at 2 o'clock, <laughs> on Sunday, I think, at 2 o'clock, at our Women Support Group headquarters, I am going to lead our women who are in the support group in an inner guide meditation for them to begin to have access and communication with these individuals who've been sitting there for I don't know how many years asking and hoping that you would ask them a question. Okay? So if you're interested in that, you know, please feel free to come. You cannot consume alcohol 24 hours before the process. You cannot eat meat. If you are constipated, please take a laxative before you come and wear comfortable clothes. And the reason why, the more comfortable you are able to be without anything tugging at your body, you can then go to the levels where they are and communicate. Okay, make sure you take care of your business so that you can give your time, yourself time to do this. I don't know how long it will take. It's Saturday. You know, we have it scheduled for two hours. The meditation might go for three hours. So cook your dinner before you go so you don't have to worry about, oh, I got to get back. And make sure that if you have children that you leave them with somebody reliable so that you don't have to worry about are they okay. Because see, you have to understand that you cannot do the inner work when you do not feel supported in the outer world. You cannot do that. So you have to set yourself up that you don't have any distractions from the outer world so that you can go and do the inner work. And that's why most people never build a spiritual body because they're too busy ripping and running up and down the street. And they can't take time to sit down and just be quiet for five minutes. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> Can we have a mind